What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys, and I hope everybody's doing well. In today's video, we are going to discuss the Chia setup. It has been running for almost two and a half years now, guys. This Chia wall has been just chugging away for two and a half years. It's done pretty well. So we've only got about seven months left before the next, before the first halving of Chia. So Chia will drop from two, uh, from each block reward down to one Chia per block reward. Coming up in May, I believe it is. Uh, so we're getting really close to that. If you guys are considering adding any drives, now would be the time to try to maximize ROI. And there's even the newest update that just came out to where they are doing the compression plots. So I have not researched that one too much. I'm going to have to research that and really dive into it and do a video. I've not had the time. Um, not happy about trying to <laughs> replot these things. I kind of hope they were going to get a more five to six year window out of the K32s. Um, but, you know, you don't have to. But if you want to keep up with the times and everybody else, you're probably going to want to. Um, but anyways, I'm still researching that. Now, from my understanding, they've only came out with 30% uh, compression. There is still 40% compression, which is available um, or at least coming through the main wallet and it's available elsewhere. Uh, personally, I think I might just wait for the 40% because I don't know that I want to uh, replot again. But it's going to take some research. I do understand that the more percentage you goes, the more processing power it takes. You know, and the more p actual power it is going to take as well. So that's something to consider, you know, as compression plots. What is the power outlay versus, you know, the power consumption now uh, versus running a high-powered machine for the compression plots? Uh, what does that add to it and things to think about? So anyhow, that's a video for another time. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. We're getting about seven months out from the halving, guys. Uh, these hard drives have actually done pretty well uh, from the statistics if you look it up online you, you start to see failures at about three years out um, knock on wood I don't have any major issues but uh, early on I have one drive that just does not work in this bay over here somewhere and there's another one that you know if the power goes out and it comes back on I have to kind of just restart the whole bank so I'll unplug or I'll uh, turn one bank off wait and then restart it and it comes back on without any problems but there is a dead one in there somewhere and i have had the hardest time figuring out which one it is i've tried turning off the lights watching for the blinking light that is one flaw to my shelf design um at least so far that it's made it very difficult to determine which one is the bad drive up there uh, if you guys have any ideas, please leave it in the comments to help me figure that out. Um, but ultimately, it's done very well. I think it pulls about 900 watts, the whole setup. So let's go over to the screen and take a look at that. So I'm running Windows on mine. As you guys know from the original videos, each window drives has 24 has 24 drives. There are uh, four computers in total, two harvesters and one mother. Now, if I do go to compression plots, I do believe my mother will no longer get to be a nice little elite desk. <laughs> I think it's going to have to get beefed up to something much more powerful. Um, so, yeah, anyway, it's just... Uh, Things to learn and get into, but I'm running right over one petabyte. It should be a little more. It should be closer to 1.1. Um, maybe I have another drive down, but there's definitely one drive down. Uh, so there's one consistent pesky booger. I'm expected to win a block every six days. The debt workspace, guys, has really grown. I mean, rapidly, just over the last six months. It used to be, it probably hit a bottom of 22 petabytes, 23 petabytes. And I mean, it's just, it's growing. So there's a lot of people using compression plots. But I'm still happy to see that I'm still going to win a block every six days. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, it, I would think at 29 edibytes, it would be uh, less of an opportunity to win blocks. But it is what it is. I'm not complaining. Uh, but uh, it, I, I don't know if it has something to do with the compression race uh, versus non-compression if one has a higher chance of winning versus the other one doesn't or if it doesn't matter 
Um, yeah, lots of research. If you guys have any of these answers, please uh, leave them down in the comments below. So yeah, let's go take a look and see how much power this bad boy is using exactly. Yep, right at 900 watts. So that is the entire Chia setup, a little over one petabyte. So let's briefly discuss the way the power is run. Uh, there are power strips up here, and there are two for each bank, and there are four banks. Those power strips are run over here, bundled, wrapped, and plugged into this power strip here. So all the banks go to this main strip, so I could just hit that breaker right there if need be and turn everything off. And then it feeds into this other one, which to get extra power, I'm actually jumping the wall. Uh, right here, there's a hole between this wall and the closet behind it that has a plug in it, because that outlet basically is a free 15 amps. So I'm using that power right here, and the entire Chia setup is running on that. So all the computers, all four bays are all running on that pulling 900 watts so i think that's pretty good it's pretty power efficient and again uh, once we consider and look into the plotting and replotting and again will be lots of videos you guys make sure to like and subscribe um as we go through and we'll be putting out those and i'll teach you guys how i'm going to try to replot it what uh, what hardware i'm going to decide uh, any suggestions? I mean, what is everybody else doing? Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I would much appreciate that. Let's go and see uh, how much money this whole setup's actually making now. So as I said before, I have um, just over one petabyte. I believe I'm missing another drive somewhere. So uh, I've got uh, 10,706 plots that are actively running which means I am making about $270 a month, about $9 per day. That entire setup, I believe, cost me about $26,000, and that's pretty much what it would cost today uh, to build that setup. So a $26,000, $27,000 setup makes about $270 a month with the Chia. Now let's also go take a look at the way I have the harvester set up. So as you guys saw, I, each one of these computers is running 20, well, this, each one of them is running 24, this one is running only 16, the last one. So I have some expansion capabilities to put down there. I am considering buying some new, uh, what is it, 22 terabyte drives and going ahead and filling up this bay area down here. Uh, just to go ahead and top it off since we're at that kind of pivotal ROI uh, moment where it's starting to feel like it's the last opportunity to uh, add some more drives. Um, you know, obviously it's about a three or four year ROI at this rate. So we just got to hope that the uh, drives or the market conditions change. Um, so th that's something I'm considering and looking into. But uh, this setup, this is just a switch up here. So it's a, basically a computer where you can switch the display out. I'm using a wireless mouse and keyboard. And so we can just switch to the second one. Come over here. And we're just using it as a remote harvester. And this is the one with the, the, <laughs> the dead drive. There's 23 drives here. Let's go over here. And we just have to push a button. Oops, screensaver, and here we go. Oh, I'm supposed to have 24 here. So there's 23 drives on this one. I've got another pesty booger, apparently. So I've got two pesty boogers and one dead drive. All right. And then there should be 16 on this one. Yep, 16. All right, guys, that is the Chia setup. Uh, it's gone very well over the last two and a half years. I uh, just kind of need to figure out what drive is dead. Um, you know, I did have some software issues. I think uh, one of the summers, I think a lot of people did, where I just was not hitting blocks for several months. Um, that was a very frustrating time. I, I believe it turned out to be a bad uh, wallet or I don't know, something was wrong. I don't know what it was. Anyways, I redid everything and... 
Uh, I've been hitting blocks consistently ever since, so uh, that problem's been solved. And other than the pesty drives, it's been great. Uh, you know, as I said, it uses about 900 watts. It really doesn't produce any extra heat in the garage too bad. Even in the summer, I do have an air conditioning out here. So, you know, it's just a window unit, but it doesn't, it's not really anything too noticeable. Um, you know, I think I'm happy with the, the wall setup. It does take up a lot of space in the garage. It's gotten a little more challenging with young children, although, as you can see, it's pretty decently well blocked off. Uh, so they don't really get to it. And uh, now I'm working on the garage trying to set it up for them. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, balance it between the kids and stuff. I may have to consider putting this into a rack or something like that. But I really don't want to. I don't want to go through and shuck all these. Uh, I think I might just leave it here until it dies. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me and uh, discussing Chia. And, uh, yeah. So if you guys are... You know, make sure to stay tuned in the video, like and subscribe. I've been working a lot with orange pies. So if you haven't uh, caught any of those videos, go back and check them out. We're going to be doing a bunch of orange pie uh, mining. Uh, we're also dabbling with some cell phone mining. So really anything that's low power consumption. Uh, I'm trying to focus on home base, low power consumption mining opportunities. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. See you.